What's up, players? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to day two of our How to Jump Rope Like a Ninja series. Today, we're gonna to be breaking down all of the main points of mastering the regular bounce. As we've made each individual videos on things like boxer skip or crisscross, we've realized and also been getting a lot of feedback from you guys on what are the most important things I need to know to just look super fluid in jumping rope and in doing the regular bounce. So basically, we've pulled all those questions into this video to give you guys the most important steps to learning the regular bounce. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is find our rhythm. And what I mean by that is bouncing just on your toes and counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and just getting that rhythm in your head because it's super important to have a consistent skipping rhythm while jumping rope so that you mess up less. So watch this clip a few times guys and just practice without a rope. Next guys, we're gonna focus on our breathing technique. Now it's super important that you do this just like you would normally running. Notice here, I'm going, obviously you can't see the air going in, but I'm going in through my nose, out through my mouth in a very slow and controlled fashion. And as you can see here when I'm zoomed in, in through the nose, out through the mouth, I'm keeping that straight stare forward and I'm really just focused on skipping the rope and just letting everything else go. Great guys, next one's super, super important. I see a lot of people pointing their wrists down, um, inhibiting the rope to spin. You wanna have your rope exactly like you see in this video right here, where my wrists are open, my thumb is resting on the top of the handle, but when I'm spinning the rope, it's that nice open uh, grip so that the rope can spin around and I have a lot more control that can provide more resistance, um, like I said, to spin the rope even faster. Uh, next we have, the wrist flicking forward. So you can't really tell from this angle so much, but the thing, this is probably the biggest thing about regular bounce and being able to do it fast. Notice here, look how my wrist goes from east to west. I'm not really, I'm, I'm controlling everything with the jump rope with my wrist motion and sliding my wrist back and forth. Picture it just sliding back and forth horizontally. That's how you get the momentum to spin the rope around nice and fast. Lastly guys, it's all about practice. Look, I can give you these tips all day long. I can give you the perfect tutorial, but you guys have to implement this and practice this on a regular basis. The only way you're gonna get to jump rope ninja status is to practice, 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 ladies and gentlemen. So the next step in the process of becoming a badass jump rope ninja is we're gonna teach you how to skip the rope like the epitome of a jump roper, which is a boxer. So make sure to stay tuned for that video tomorrow, subscribe to the channel, and uh, thanks for your support, guys. Hope this was helpful. So guys, we hope this video today was helpful. We hope that you're feeling a little bit more confident. And remember, practice means everything, guys. You have to do the thing on a consistent basis. Take these videos and take this whole series, you know, take it seriously. Run through it a bunch of times until you feel proficient, until you look like a badass ninja. If you like this video and you like this series, please give it a thumbs up below, followed by a subscribe to this channel to get more of these. And lastly, make sure that you do click that subscribe button. So stay tuned for the next video where we break down how to jump rope like a boxer. Bye.